G'day, eh? It's uh, Farmer Jay, and welcome back to Daria Farms. I'm going to start a new series of videos that I want to entitle Secrets Giants Won't Tell You, but essentially I'm going to call it Farming Simulator 22 Advanced Gameplay. Where we're going to look at aspects of the game that are not covered by either the in game help menu or the Giants Academy online. And there are actually quite a few topics that are not covered. I'm going to show you how to take this silage clamp and I'll put another one next to it and I'm going to show you how one will fill and the other one won't. I'm also going to show you or talk to you about Something that we may or may, may or may not already know, which is bees. Giants has made it clear that bees will help with certain crops, such as canola, potatoes, or sunflowers, various fair flowering crops. What giants don't tell you is how much bees help each crop, nor do they tell you how far the bees reach. So these are all going to be things that we're going to be looking at, and these will all improve your yields. You could go from 100%, and we've already examined how to go from a 50% to 100% yield in crops. Now we're going to look at that little bit extra, how to go from 97 to 100 to maybe 120% bonus yield. And how much extra that's going to yield you. As we saw in some of the previous videos. Depending on your field size. That can start to add up pretty quickly. And it can make a big impact on the profitability of your farm. We'll also look at how much bees yield. Just, I don't want to call it little things, but it's things like that. And they can make a difference of a couple of thousand or even a couple of hundred thousand dollars a year on your farm. So, if this sounds like something you want to learn more about and you want to learn how to maximize the yields on your farm, remember to subscribe and ring that bell so you're notified when the next video gets posted. In the first video, we're going to cover grassland care or 
looking after grass, whatever you want to call it. And I know I can already hear you saying, whatever, I already know how to look after my grass fields. Well, take a look at your grass field. And even if you've done everything correctly, after the first harvest, you'll notice that your grass yield or your productivity or however Johns wants to measure it will only give you a yield bonus of 97 or 98 percent rounding up or down. Well, I'm going to show you how to make that grass yield 100% and then we'll learn how to take it one step further and make it 105%. Then, since we can harvest grass multiple times a year we'll look at whether it's better to fill the silage clamp with grass or with corn which will yield you the most over a year Most of the advanced crops have their own little secrets. And we're going to look at those. By advanced crops, I'm talking about well, it's going to sound kind of simple. I'm not talking about oats, wheat, and barley grow, because that's pretty much standard and it's a flat rate like I said I'm talking about sunflower canola potatoes grass and if you're going to turn grass into silage grass versus corn as a yield now I'm also going to say one thing in terms of real life which is not represented in the game grass silage and corn silage have different nutrients I'll try this again in English, have different nutritional yields for your cows. It's not represented in the game, but in real life, there is a real advantage to growing one over the other and then combining the two. Kind of like TMR, but not exactly. So, like I said, stay tuned. The videos are coming soon. And we'll really start to dig into the secrets giants haven't told you or won't tell you. I've talked about many of these topics with people in the forums and various other people that have played the game. And I think you'll find the facts very interesting.
I hope to see you in the next video. In the meantime, have a great weekend. And remember to subscribe so you don't miss an episode. Take care, Jay.